Alright guys, I wanted to do a little discussion on price point versus quality of the sword. Now I'm only talking about production blades from China. I'm not talking about Nihonto or uh, custom swords from western swordsmiths or anything like that. Purely just swords, production swords from China. Now, a lot of people think that the more money they spend on a sword, the higher quality of a sword that they'll get. In one sense, yes, that is true, but in another sense, I feel that they're just fooling themselves. The reason why I say this is because, yes, up to a certain price point, you will be getting a higher quality sword. Such as, the more money you spend, the higher quality or higher carbon content your blade will be, the higher quality it will be, um, and for the fittings, it may come with uh, you know better fittings like iron or steel or something like that. However, you do not need to spend one thousand, two thousand dollars on a production blade. Why? because you can always modify your sword. Now, to some people, you know, it may seem like common sense, like, you know, like, duh, of course you can do that. But to others who may be unaware, you know, this message is uh, more specifically directed towards you. Because, you know, I was once in the same type of predicament myself, you know. I always thought, the more money I spend on the sword, then the higher quality will be. Not true. And, uh, you know, I learned myself through lots of research, you know, hundreds of hours being on the internet. <laughs> and, I mean, if you have a good sword to start with, you can always modify it. Now, the sword you see on the top with the red handle and the black scabbard. That's my SBG katana. Now, it was $330. Um, I got it for retail off the site. Um, and, you know, it is a good blade, but I wanted something more. And uh, later on, the Tsuka core actually cracked, so I was forced to make a new Tsuka core. Now, if for people who don't like their swords, then all you really need to do is modify it. You can always resharpen and polish it and have a new Tsuka core made. Those are the two, I guess, uh, highest priority items that you need to modify in your sword if you want, you know a really good performance uh, functional sword. Now the number one priority is sharpening and polishing your sword. Um, have it done by a qualified individual so that way you know that the edge geometry and shaping is correct. And then have, a, have the Suka core made custom and custom carved for your particular sword. That helps aid shock absorption and shock transfer. If you have those two items customized for your sword and modified, then I can pretty much guarantee you that you will see a performance difference as far as how your sword handles and how it cuts. Now, my SPG, I did resharpen, repolish it, redid the edge geometry, I modified the habaki, changed out the furniture, I carved the new Tsuka core out of yellow poplar, did white new full Samigawa wrap, did the Tsukumaki, pretty much all the modifying that you can do except for the Saya itself. Now this sword does perform and is very reliable because I did start with a reliable platform, the blade itself. Now, no matter what blade you have, if it is reliable, if it is durable, then just go with it and modify it. That's the best advice I can give to you so that you guys can, you know, save yourself some money. 
Now on the bottom there I have a Minatoshi uh, light cutter. Pretty much everything is uh, you know the way it is from the factory um, but I have resharpened and polished that one as well and um, I did use the Ito it came with and I just wrapped it tighter um, just so that it serves a you know this feels better because if it's tighter then it'll be more practical but really your highest priority should be those two items I just discussed resharpening and polishing your sword and remounting the sword with a new Tsuka core and after that you will see a difference in cutting performance now the reason why I say resharpen your sword and you know remount it with a new Tsuka I'm not trying to get you guys to spend more money I'm trying to get you guys to have and pretty much a uh, a very very good uh, functional katana. Now you resharpen the sword and you should attain good edge geometry so that will aid you know cutting through targets and things like that. But the Tsuka core is also important because factory uh, you know production blades for the handles they just route uh, two pieces of wood, glue them together and stick them on the sword. They don't pay attention to how well it fits really. They don't pay attention to the grain uh, direction either. If you get a custom carved Sukha core, you will get proper fit, which is most important, and you will also get proper grain alignment of the wood itself. And then you also get proper shaping and uh, things like that. And the full samigawa, full samigawa wrap and professional, professionally done tsukamaki is a bit of a bonus to help keep uh, the sword looking good as well as um, aid its performance and functionality as well. So I hope that uh, you guys take this into account. Um, instead of purchasing a new sword, try modifying your sword and see how you like it then. Alright guys, thanks for, thanks for watching.